Right, in this video I will show you how to do a correlation output. Recall that in the regression video I showed you that you can use the regression output um, just as easily as you can use this. It's going to be the same exact number, so if you wanted to you could just use the regression, but I'll show you how SPSS creates a correlation output. So you go to the command Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate, and now you just move your two variables over. It doesn't matter in which one. So remember, we were looking at our changes in the number of surfers in the water at Waimea Bay explained by or associated with changes in the height of the waves at Waimea Bay. So that's what a correlation looks at. Our changes in the number of surfers in the water at Waimea Bay associated with changes in the height of the waves at Waimea Bay. Press OK. And there you go. So remember we said we had in the other video, so there's our p-value, so it would be significant that it's less than 0.05. And there's your r, okay? I told you earlier that you could use this output. Look, there's the r, matches that r, and this p-value matches this p-value. These two are the same here. They're just correlating on top of each other. That's why they're one, so ignore those. So there's your R and there's your p-value. Okay, so we want to know, well, how do we interpret R? It's amazing what you can find when you read the book. Here's your book. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Here's the book. Here's the chapter on regression, if you will. Go all the way to the end. I actually have that same output. I say here, Let's see if I have a nice little title for you. There's coefficient of correlation, or R. Okay, Here's where I would tell you to how to interpret it. So if you're R, it actually depends upon what other people have found to know if you have a strong, weak, or moderate relationship or correlation. But I'm just going to, for the purpose of this class, give you something that you can use on the test. So if it's between 0 and 33, we'll say it's weak. If it's between 34 and 66, we'll say it's moderate. And if it's 0.67 up to 1, we'll call it strong. Recall that you need to say the sign. So the sign matters. So down here we have a positive 985, which falls in the strong relationship. So we'd say there's a strong positive relationship. Remember that R is not a percentage. This is not the same thing as R squared. Okay? So remember that. So real quickly, in SPSS, we go Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate. You move your two variables over and you push OK. There's your R, there's your p-value. And in order to interpret it, you need to look at the lecture and use this matrix right here. You need to talk about the strength and then also the sign. So that's a strong positive, and it's meaningful because we have a small p-value of less than 0.05. Alrighty, that's the end of this video.